Hey, I'm Kirby and you are watching Kirby Q. Yeah, I still make videos, believe it or not. And today I'm doing a product review. Uh, a guy I met on a competition circuit has a uh, sauce and rub that he wanted me to try out. So I thought I'd go and do a product review for him. Uh, I got the package um, early in the week. So I thought I'm doing a practice cook today. Um, this year in 2016, KCBS is allowing the usage of kale as a garnish. Uh, in your turning boxes. So uh, I thought I'd do a practice cook on my chicken and ribs. I'm going to use um, some of uh, uh, it's called uh, Berg's Boys um, barbecue sauce and chicken rub uh, on on some of it on um, the burnt ends and some of the chicken. I mean not the burnt ends, the um, rib tips and some of the um, chicken thighs. Uh, I'm going to do would be using some of his sauce and rub. So, uh, let's go ahead and do it. Alright, here it is. It's still in the box. As I said, I did get it earlier in the week. And I haven't opened it up yet. So, let's go ahead and get it open. Alright. And some of his, uh, I think he said this was apple, the, uh, some of his apple pie, uh, marinade. I forgot about that. I could have used it. Chicken and ribs, spirit, apple pie base. I forgot about that. So, shoulda, coulda, woulda. Yeah, this was like a injection I could have used. Uh, I'll probably use it next week when I do my um, brisket some um, pork butts. So, I'll probably use this next week. Here it says uh, barbecue sauce, and he sent me the uh, regular because Joanne don't like stuff hot, so we're gonna give this a try. And here's a uh, poultry rub. All right, got big pieces of herbs and spices in here. We're gonna give it a dry test taste. Then, like I said, we're gonna try his rub and his um sweet sweet sauce on his uh on some chicken that I'm gonna do. So let's give it a dry taste first. I like his packaging. You know, in your kitchen, always got that one drawer full of junk. Well, we keep when we go to out to eat, we always keep our little plastic utensils in that particular drawer for us. All right, I got my little spoon. There we go. Come out! A child safety proof cap. All right, let's see. All right, finally got the jar open. I'm back. Let's go and give us a taste. And he said it was sweet. Definitely is very sweet. A very sweet sauce. It's a really sweet sauce, not detecting any um, heat with it. So this one's just going to be sweet, sort of like your uh, your baby, a uh, sweet baby Ray's, just a uh, really sweet sauce. So it's a real sweet taste to it. It's um, real smooth. Uh, there's some little bits of something, not sure, uh, some kind of fruit or something he may grind up in, I'm not sure. But it tastes good. I'm just tasting it out the jar. It tastes really good. 
Let me not put the lid on so tight. Let's go around. Let's give us rub a tie. This is his poultry rub. Very uh, granular and nice size uh, chunks of, uh, like I said, some herbs and, herbs and stuff. Got a nice aroma to it. Looks like I see maybe some oregano or basil. Yep, I do a taste like a, some Italian like seasoning to it with a little heat. With a little heat to it. This is going to be interesting. Let's see how this tastes on the chicken. It's nice. Got real nice bits of herbs and stuff. You can see that pretty good. I hope you can. Hmm. All right. So that's his dry rub. That's his uh, sauce, really sweet sauce. Rub, we're gonna get us a both, both of these a try on some chicken thighs, prepared uh, competition style. I got the thighs in the brine right now. And uh, shortly I'm gonna get them out and I'm gonna prep um, six thighs using his rub, uh, his rub only. Then, um, of course, when it comes time to do the glaze and stuff, I'm gonna glaze it. With his um, with his sauce. All right, I'll see you guys in a little while when we get ready to prep the chicken. All right, <clears throat> here's my thighs. They've been brining in a simple brine solution. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put some of his uh, rub in his shaker. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the bottom of them. Toothpicks. Here and roll it up. Now, of course, if you go to a competition and you're going to use toothpicks to help hold on your skin, be sure to remove your toothpicks before you do your turning. You don't want to get disqualified for having a foreign object in your meat. Plus, it's a little safety hazard. All right, then I'm gonna smooth out the skin a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and coat it on top. All right, so that's the basic process. I'm gonna do that. I'm doing six pieces like this. Placing in a pan like such. Going to finish that up. I'll be back once that's right. done. I got six uh, thighs seasoned up with his rub. And um, I used toothpicks. So that's going to be my identifier. I got some more thighs I'm going to do with a different rub and a different sauce. I'm doing some experimentation today also. So, but uh, here are uh, Drew's rub. Um, Drew K. I think it's Drew K. Uh, again. Boys Barbecue out in Petersburg here in Virginia. 
We met him at a competition a couple of years ago and uh, been chatting on Facebook and stuff. Trying his sauce and uh, rubs out today. So um, I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my thighs and stuff that I got to get ready to go on the smoker. Uh, so the next time you see me, I'll be, about, I'll be at the smoker loading these guys on. All right. All right, I'm out here at the big boy smoker today. Here I have some of my regular Kirby Q style chicken, um, competition style chicken that I'm working on. Here, these six pieces are Drew's um, with his rub on it. And these six pieces are another rub that I'm tinkering with to uh, see if it'll help complement my Kirby Q rub. So I hope you guys got a good shot of that. Let's go ahead and put it on the smoker. Alright. See, I got my ribs on. Gonna go ahead right for right now. This is the coolest way for the top part. Put it right here. You didn't see that. Let me move you over some. Get you to see it. Yeah, zoom. Zoom in some for you. I'm going to put them off. Put that to go. Sorry about that. Gotta get used to it. Look at my ribs. Looking good. Sorry about that. Alright. I will see you guys in about an hour or so when I do my second seasoning for these uh, thighs. Alright. See you in about an hour. I got the chicken off the smoker. Now the next step in the process is to go ahead and I forgot. My other tongs I usually use, I'm sorry, but let's go ahead and take it out. Here. What I want to do at this process is go ahead and remove the toothpicks before I forget. Out of each of the thighs. Now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and baste them with some of his sauce. Then they're gonna go back on the smoker for about another 15 minutes. And typically what I would do is have a dipping pan and dip these in. I hope you can hear me. But I uh, ran out of those little small disposable aluminum pans. That's all his are done. I got some other chicken that I'm experimenting with. I want to go ahead and get those um, done too. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and throw these back on the smoker. Next time you see me, I'll be doing a taste test. All right, see you in a little while. All right. All right, now for the moment of truth. Uh, here is one of his thighs. Complete. Let's see what the let's see what he's working with.
Now, first thing first, the rub really accentuates the um, poultry meat. Um, really uh, act, uh, enhances the uh, enhances the poultry meat flavor. So it's good in the sauce. Like I said, it's real sweet. It, it has a nice sweet taste to it. It's not like a uh, after after a bite of heat or anything to it. Just real sweet. So the rub isn't offensive or anything like that. No off pudding taste. Now Drew. Here's my only criticism, if you're going to do it for competition, just a little bit more, uh, with the rub, you'll want something with a little bit more bite. Um, general public, excellent. I think it's Joanne, you want to try a piece of uh, Drew's chicken? Joanne said no. <laughs> but, um, I think it's good for G, for, um, if you're just pushing it to your customers and stuff like that, I think with competition you're going to want to add another rub to it to help give it an extra, to help wow, to add a, a wow factor to it. Um, but like I said, on its own, by itself, um, if you're just grilling and you're not trying to do it for competition, this is a good rub. I, I really like the, uh, the the way it enhanced the chicken, the flavor of the chicken. Um, then, like I said, the sauce is sweet, no heat or anything like that. So, if you're looking for just a sweet, nice, sweet rub, a nice, sweet sauce, you're gonna want to get a Berg Boy sauce to try. And this chicken rub, again, uh, uh, for competition wise, Drew, just add maybe another rub or something to it that's gonna add an extra oomph, some wow to it, something that's gonna really uh, accent. Uh, uh, Hit the judges taste buds and uh, really make them like uh, really really wow them. That, maybe that's the word I'm looking for to really wow the judges. Other than that, it's a good rub. Hey, as y'all can see, uh, well you probably saw when I first started I'm working on my kale boxes. Oops, sorry. Uh, so I got a couple of one more box to make up to do a chicken chicken presentation and. Um, that would be it for my cook today. Hey, I thank you guys for watching. Um, if you like to uh, give uh, Drew a try uh, or call, uh, his uh, contact number is, is in Petersburg, Virginia, 804-638-3879, 804-638-3879. Or you can go to Bo Berg Boys Barbecue on Facebook, like them like their page, hit him up there, message him there, and I'm sure he'll be glad to get some of his um, rub and sauce out to you. And next week I'll be trying his apple pie uh, marinade. Alright, uh, it's been a busy day for me. Alright guys, thank y'all for watching. I'm going to try to put more videos out this year in 2016. Happy New Year to you, by the way. Alright, God bless and thank you for watching. And as my man Thyron would say, uh, 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 what does it say? Oh, oh, God bless you. God bless America. God, God bless you and God bless America. And I'm going to add, God bless America. No, I ain't going to say that because some people might get offended. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, God bless you. Thank y'all for watching. Please subscribe. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up.